हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो विल स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स वेयर वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी द कॉक्रोच एंड इट्स डिफरेंट सिस्टम सो यू हैव स्टडीड डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एंड सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन कॉक्रोच अलोंग विद इट्स मोफोलॉजी इन एनाटमी एंड टूडे वी विल स्टडी द नर्वस सिस्टम एंड द सेंस ऑर्गन इन द कॉक्रोचेस सो the nervous system of the cockroach is well developed it includes central nervous system peripheral nervous system and sympathetic nervous system so let we see what are the different parts of central nervous system so central nervous system has brain and ventral nerve cord so this is brain and this is the ventral nerve cord so brain is the large bilobed structure bilobed means two lobes are uh, here uh, presenting as the ganglion supra esophageal ganglion supra means above esophageal means esophagus so there are two ganglion present above the esophagus they are supra esophageal ganglion they represent the brain located in the head region on the dorsal side of the esophagus now from this supra esophageal ganglion a pair of short circum uh, pharyngeal connective arise this connective now pass downwards and join the sub esophageal ganglion sub means below the esophagus so this circum pharyngeal connective arising from the brain and then pass downwards and join the sub esophageal ganglion situated on the ventral side of the esophagus so this is the brain <coughs> now ventral nerve cord so from the sub esophageal ganglion a double ventral nerve cord arises as i explained you ki brain ke andar two uh, that supra esophageal ganglion at the dorsal side of the esophagus and supra uh, sub esophageal ganglion on the ventral side they represent the brain both are connected with the help of circum esophageal connective now from the sub esophageal ganglion double ventral nerve cord arises and it passes backwards up to the seventh abdominal segment and it bears three ganglia uh, in the thorax region and the uh, that uh, six ganglia in the abdominal region so uh, further we will see here that the three ganglia in the uh, that uh, thoracic region so what are the three that ganglia here in the thoracic region so i'll show you here prothoracic ganglion mesothoracic ganglion and metathoracic ganglion these are the part of ventral nerve cord in the thoracic region and here these are the ganglia they are present in the abdominal region first six okay the first second third four five six in this manner this is the sixth abdominal ganglion you can see here one two three four five and six so this six that ganglia in the abdominal region so this all they form the ventral nerve cord so this is the part of the central nervous system now we'll come to the peripheral nervous system so peripheral nervous system means it consists of nerves arising from the thoracic and the abdominal ganglia so you can see here that there are many nerves arising from the thoracic ganglion also and from the abdominal ganglion also so these nerves they are uh, the, uh, the part of peripheral nervous system these nerves innervates different parts of the body now the third the sympathetic nervous system so i'll show you that third this is sympathetic nervous system so sympathetic nervous system represented by four ganglia these are the frontal ganglion you can see here this is frontal ganglion then hypo uh, cerebral ganglion this is the uh, this is retrocentral complex it is above the hypo cerebral ganglion so here the hypo cerebral ganglion then the esophageal ganglion you can see here the esophageal now arising from the 
here the esophageal ganglion so esophageal ganglion we have studied already uh, in the brain and the inguinal ganglion so in this manner all these ganglion together they form the sympathetic nervous system now what is the role of the sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system of the cockroach is mainly concerned with regulating the activities of gut so understood children central nervous system formed from brain and the ventral nerve cord ventral nerve cord has the three thoracic ganglion as well as six uh, that uh, abdominal ganglion and the sympathetic nervous system formed of all these four ganglion frontal then the hypocerebral and esophageal ganglion and inguinal ganglion so these all they form the nervous system in the cockroach now we will study the sense organs cockroach uh, uh, possesses various types of sensory structure you have studied in the mouth parts and the body parts like antennae maxillary palps labial palps simple eyes and compound eyes so these structures they contain different type of receptors what are receptor receptors are actually sensory cells which are present in all these organs and responsible for the sense of different uh, that stimuli so these uh, different types of receptors like mechano receptors mechano receptors means that uh, uh, receptors are uh, for the touch thermo receptors receptors uh, for the temperature chemo receptors receptors for the uh, that uh, chemical stimuli photoreceptors receptors for the light so we will see here that antennae they have the receptors of touch temperature and smell then maxillary palp they bear the receptors of touch and taste labial palps they have the receptors of taste anal cerci receptors of vibration they are sensitive to sound then compound eyes one pair of compound eyes is situated at the dorsolateral side of the head this is already showed by me in the morphology so we will study the structure of eye in detail now each eye in cockroach consists of about 2000 units these units are known as the omitidia so this is known as the compound eyes because these all units together here omitidia each unit it works as a eye how let me study the structure of omitidium so in omitidium uh, each omitidium is a long pyramidal structure and it has two regions the two major regions are there in the omitidium in this pyramidal structure the first the light sensitive region this is light sensitive region and this is image forming region or the sensory region you can call it now light gathering region it is represented by corneal cells i will show you in the detail this is light recepting region this is corneal lens and the crystalline cone this lens is a region of uh, the transparent cuticle it is produced by the primary pigment cell so here this here the cuticle becomes transparent and it forms the uh, lens or the corneal lens and its surface is the smooth the crystalline cone you can see here this is crystalline cone this is clear hard material produced by four crystalline cone cells and outer side you will see the sheath the covering now the next part we will see that is the sensory region or the image forming region this is sensory region here just beneath the crystalline cone seven retilunar cells are present you can see here these are the retinular uh, retilunar cells so there are seven retilunar cells present and these retilunar cells they are sensory in nature they rest on basement membrane so all these seven retilunar cells they rest on this membrane this is basement membrane now inner surface of these cells they are uh, modified to form a receptive area you can see this is receptive area formed by the inner surface of these retilunar cells this receptive area this is 
called as the rhabdomere collectively all the rhabdomeres they form the rhabdome this rhabdome it contains pigment visual pigments that resemble those of vertebrate eye that is rhodopsin remember in human eye you have studied the rhodopsin and iodopsin so this rhabdome this area it is sensitive for the light and has the visual pigments which is the rhodopsin now these rhodopsins are activated only by the light that enters the ometidium almost parallel to its longitudinal axis so light enters from the lens then to the cone and then to the rhabdome now the sensory cells collectively they form the nerve uh, their optic nerve which is connected to the brain so these are the nerve fibers arising from each ometidium and together they form the optic nerve which goes to the brain now sensory region is surrounded by the seven light absorbing retinal lunar pigment cells i'll show you here that this is rhabdom and these are the retinular cells read this retinular cells uh, collectively they the this uh, form this structure now sensory cells collectively they form the optic nerve and sensory region is surrounded by this seven light absorbing retinular pigmented cells and they serve to isolate each ometidium because here you will see the outer sheath is there the retinular pigment sheath it separates each ometidium now this pigmented sheath around the sensory region it keeps the ometidium isolated from each other so you can see here i'll show you here the uh, that outer sheath this is retinular pigment sheath so uh, this pigmented sheath around the uh, the sensory region they keep this uh, ometidium isolated from each other as i uh, that said you there are 2000 units ometidia are there so these ometidia each ometidium is separated from this pigment sheath therefore the light rays entering the cornea where is the cornea here it is the cornea so light entering the cornea uh, uh, the of the an ometidium converge on the rhabdom of only that specific ometidium thus a small separate image of a part of object is formed in each ometidium so here image is formed by each ometidium so the formation of separate images by the separate ometidia this is known as the mosaic image because this is a structure of single ometidium now there are 2000 units 2000 ometidia so the the same number of images will be formed so the formation of separate images by separate ometidia this is known as the mosaic image and the vision is known as the mosaic vision but if image is not clear and superimposed by other images then the image is said to be as the superimposition image which occurs during the night time so here uh, this is the image formation by the ometidium in the cockroach so students uh, the pect is the diagram of uh, uh, this ometidium and uh, study the nervous system from the book also and uh, uh, ask your doubts in the next part we will complete the